So it's been uh, almost 12 months that we've been working with Ian and the Duke team uh, to put this whole project together. So it's, it's been incredible to work with Duke, the Space Agency, uh, Civil Aviation Safety Authority, the local communities to bring this uh, to fruition. What we're trying to do is do the safest space launches possible. So that requires two components. It, it requires the location where you will launch into space from, as well as then a location that you can test parts of electronics, parts of uh, you know, satellites or rockets, and recover them safely on the ground before you try and get the rocket to do 7.8 kilometers per second, you know. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a very good way to de-risk operations before you try the, the real deal. So Duke Systems has been working on uh, small electronic warfare uh, systems uh, for deployment on Cube satellites. Now this is a, this is a breakthrough and, and the activity that we're doing with Southern Launch is a major step towards proving our capability to develop these miniaturised uh, sensors. This uh, project that we're doing uh, with Southern Launch has been sponsored by the Royal Australian Air Force's Project Jericho uh, so that we can um, prove how rapidly we can launch these types of sensors. We intend to use uh, the Whalers Way site when we move forward with our MOAS project. The orbits that we can access through that launch facility will work in well with what our concept of operations is. So we are hopeful that once we've proven ourselves on the rocket range at Kaniba, that we'll be able to um, then develop our technology further to use the Whalers Way station.